A young man named Chandu lived in a village. His father was dead. His mother brought him up. Chandu had four uncles. They were very jealous of him. One day they stole his favorite goat from Chandu's house and killed it. When Chandu came to know, he was very sad. Then don't know what struck him. He cut off the goat's head and buried the rest of the body. A Brahman lived in a nearby village. Hiding the severed head of the goat in his courtyard, Chandu said to the Brahman, "Your house stinks of meat." The Brahman roared and said, "Impossible. If so, find me some meat." Chandu brought the goat's head in front of him. He gave a lot of money to Chandu so that he would not tell the villagers about that. Chandu took a bag full of money and showed it to his uncles and said, "The people of the nearby villages bought the meat at exorbitant prices. Those people were asking for more. I said, 'I will bring it tomorrow.'" Uncle became very happy. All of them also killed their own goats and took their meat to the neighboring village. That's all. When the villagers saw him with meat, he was beaten fiercely. The enraged uncle set Chandu's hut on fire. Chandu and his mother became homeless. Chandu was shocked to see the tears of the poor mother. He collected the ashes of the hut and went to sell in another village. Take it. Take the antimony of the eye. By applying it, you get a lot of money. One who does not get married gets married soon. Hand in hand, a bad antimony was sold. Chandu hid the remaining ashes. He went to his uncle and said, "All the ashes of my hut have been sold." Uncle asked with surprise, "Have the ashes been sold?" Chandu shows them the money. Chandu then encouraged them. All the uncles were taken aback by Chandu's words. All four burned their houses and started preparing to take the ashes. Chandu said, "Tell the villagers that we have been sent by Surmewale." As soon as all four reached the village and took the name of Surmewale, the whole village reached out to them. Everyone ran to kill him as soon as they saw him. The poor man returned home after getting beaten up. All four planned to kill Chandu out of anger. He tied Chandu with a rope on the bank of the river and himself went home to have dinner. A merchant passed by as soon as he left. He asked Chandu, "Why? Why, brother? Why are you tied here?" Chandu spoke, "Yes, my uncle wants me to marry a beautiful girl. When I refused, he tied me up." The merchant said, "I will marry that girl. Is it possible?" Chandu quickly tied him up and ran away with his horse. All the four uncles lay down after eating and drinking, did not wake up due to laziness. Knuckles were hurting because of the beating. Told the servant, "Go throw Chandu in the river. We can't pick it up." The servant was also no less. He handed over this work to his relative. The relative threw the merchant into the river, mistaking him for Chandu. The poor merchant kept shouting. The servant informed the uncle, "Yes, the work is done." All four together started celebrating Chandu's death. Chandu saw everything hiding behind the tree and took the horse and went to the uncles. Greeted everyone and said, "The servant didn't push deep, so only the horse got it." If he had drowned deeply, he might have brought bulls, cows and elephants as well. All the four uncles again came to his words. Called Chandu and asked, "Are animals really being found in the river?" Chandu said, "Yes, you guys also bring it." Leaving laziness, all four uncles ran towards the river. Took the servant along too. Reaching the shore, he ordered the servant, "Push all four of us into the water." The servant obeyed the order. Chandu is freed forever from his jealous and evil uncles. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel.